Hi, y'all. Cyclamide Mama D here. Excuse my mess behind me. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I did a video uh, where I went to the bins in um, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's two hours away from me. So, that probably is not going to happen too often. But, unfortunately... I did a crap job of filming. I tried a new harness, which is actually used for um, the GoPros. And I have a piece that fits my cell phones. But the bins there were a lot taller than I expected. So the filming was really crappy. Um, I did try to do my editing. Um, and I thought I had done it correctly this time, but unfortunately, I did not. And now I can't even find the edited version of the bins. But, on a good note, I do have the items here and I wanted to show you what I got. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start with the books. Um... I got uh, six James Patterson books. Uh, a lot of people like James Patterson, and as y'all know, books are pricey. Um, so, see, like this one here is from Walmart. It's $20.28. Um, but uh, 21st birthday, uh, Double Cross, and... Violets are blue. I actually picked up two of these, not realizing it, but that's okay. I'm going to have two books, um, two lots of three. So those are those. And then the next lot will be Mary Mary, also James Patterson, um, and Big, The Big Bad Wolf. And the second one violets are blue so there's that I also got um, two other books that um, they're not going to go together and I'm going to try to find the other ones and then put them in full lots but the first one is Shadow of the Night and it's uh, Deborah Harkness and it's the discovery of wit wit witches <laughs> um, I actually started watching this show and it's actually pretty good it's not too bad so I'm assuming because most of the time the books are a heck of a lot better than the shows or the movies my experience and then the next book I got was Lord of Shadows Cassandra Clare and uh, The Dark Articles and this is a Shadow Hunters novel. And I've actually started watching this one as well. So this one is book two. So like I said, I need to find out how many is in the series and um, try to see if I can find the other ones to have a good, nice lot, book lot for somebody. And then I found something for me. Because I like selling a lot of glass and vintage stuff. But this is uh, Storytellers and Other Figurative, figurative Poultry. Poultry. <laughs> Pottery. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot talk. And it just shows you, you know, what's what. And um, of collectors and, and things. And it's something that I... I enjoy doing and, and learning about as well. So I'm tickled about that. I'll show you some more. But yeah, that one's mine. And another thing that I got at the bins for me was because if anybody knows me, they know I love peeps. And here are some brand new peeps slipper slippers. And they will fit me. So I've got me some new slippers. <clears throat> mm, back to the books. 
I found some little golden books. They are older ones. Uh, you know, 69 cents was the original price, 89 cents. So, yeah, these were my era. And uh, except for this one, this one is not. This is a newer one. But this was $5.99. Show you a difference of inflation. It used to be 89 69 cents when I was a kid, and now they're $6. So, anybody who likes reading their kids' books, hey, we got a nice little bundle here for you. The new puppy, Snow White and Seven Dwarves, The Circus Family, or Family Circus, Circus Family, Family Circus, Daddy Surprise, you know, they used to be a, or they might, still might be, um, cartoon and then here is rainbow bright this one might actually be worth listing separately but i'll have to check it out i'll check them all out to be sure first and then uh child's garden of verses and um a lot of times you know we put our names and stuff in it or our parents did which is not a big deal it doesn't affect the books themselves, they are still in wonderful condition, not pages aren't ripped or wrote in or drew, drew on. Um, but yeah, see like the Rainbow Bright, does it? Yeah, it doesn't, it did not. Uh, when I was a kid, these were, these were the things to read. And then, uh, yeah. So I got them, but yeah, this one, this one as well is, has been wrote in. This one has not. So that's that. I also found a uh, needle point. It doesn't have the picture with it, but it does have the yarn and the instructions and everything with it. And this is a uh, cheetah. Really, really cute. So I have some others that um, I'm going to add with this and make a lot of it. So somebody is going to have a blast with those. And if they don't sell, I'll do them myself because I used to do them. Still love doing them, you know. Um, I found these little hot pads for my daughter. I'm not sure if she's going to like them, but I did tell her about it and uh, told her she couldn't have them until I did my video. <laughs> So we'll see if she likes them. If not, then uh, I'll do something with them. Maybe try to get some more. And then um, you can also put them on your wall for decorations to add with your boho thing. <clears throat> and I found some vintage uh, Holly Hobby. I think it's Holly Hobby. These. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They're wooden plaques, pictures, and they've been painted on the papers. You can see these. Um, I will clean these up before I list them. I haven't got a chance to. But uh, they're cute. And I believe these came in four, sets of four. Um, so maybe somebody is missing these two. And would like to add them. <clears throat> I found uh, a jacket which I need to clean but the spots on it you know when you scratch them with the uh, your thumbnail come off just fine. This is a Morono Morana Morana but I looked it up size large and uh, they sell for a decent amount. Uh, I'm going to have to find a different location for my camera and stuff because I got this light just beaming down. It's kind of messing it up. But uh, it's a really nice quality jacket. So that's why I got it. But uh, I think it's wool, so I'm going to have to clean it 
specially, especially with the dry cleaning. You, know, you can do it at home now, and it works just fine. Um, then I got this little pullover. It's a Hollister. Nothing special, but I got it because of the tones of gray, and I thought it was pretty. Um, it is a size medium. <clears throat> but yeah, no fraying other than, you know, the nap, it, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it doesn't stink. Um, but I will put it in the um, wash to be washed and go from there. <clears throat> and then I found a Nike shirt. Um, and it has the Steelers on it logo. It's a size medium. I'll show you the tag here. Uh, a lot of Steeler fans out there. No rips, stains, tears, nothing. And it has a little Nike on the sleeve. That's that. And then I got two of these shoes for outdoor. And I haven't decided I might keep one for myself because I got a big foot and to find outdoor shoes, water shoes like this, for me, is hard. Two facts. But uh, there's these. And there's the name. Oh, that light. I'm gonna, definitely going to have to figure something else out. But yeah, they are really nice. And these are a size 11. And then I have another pair. It took me forever to find this other, the match. And of course, wouldn't you know, it was just in the same bin. <laughs> and I just looked over it. And then there is, this other one is a size 8. And again, there's nothing wrong with them other than they're used. <clears throat> and they sell, they have a, a good resale return value. Then I found some high heels. They are a Jennifer Lopez. And I'm going to untwist them and take the band aid off. And uh, these don't sell for a lot, but um, they are running about uh, $20 resale. And these are a size, oh, I had it earlier, and I've forgotten what it is, where it is, where it is. <laughs> I don't know. I can't find them now. <clears throat> but I will figure it out. And then I found some blue suede boots with a chunky heel and... They are so cute. Everything works on them. And these are a size seven and a half. And they are, they're just so cute, so soft. If I had a seven, seven and a half size, I'd wear these. But uh, I've noticed that a lot of the um, like suede type shoes and heels do pretty decent. They sell quickly. Yeah, they don't uh, stick around for very much. It's the everyday, ordinary ones that take forever to sell. But that's okay, too. I can hold on to them. But, um, yeah, that is all that I found at the bins. <clears throat> I didn't spend too much time there. There was a lot of people there. Um... And they weren't very nice. <laughs> but that, you know, that happens sometimes when you go. But uh, hopefully when I do go next time, there will be better filming from yours truly. <laughs> um, and uh, you'll be able to see. And then I can do a reveal and you can see actually what I got. But that, that's what I got. And uh, I hope everybody is staying safe. And having a wonderful time and enjoying this weather out there because, you know, 
the the pretty weather doesn't last long, you know, depending on where you live. <clears throat> it gets cold and snows and ices up and all that fun stuff. But uh, y'all stay safe and have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.